So um, I have this uh, 2000 BMW uh, X5 uh, 4.4i and uh, I had a uh, problems with the uh, back, back uh, suspension with the air suspension is uh, uh, it works by pump and it activates and it's got a couple of switches and I had a lot of trouble figuring out what the problem is I checked everything I changed the bags and so I came to the uh, realization I realized that uh, the pump it's not working uh, what I mean by that it does turn 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 on it works however it does not pump any air how did I figure that out by disconnecting this line it was the blue line right there I disconnect this line and uh, uh, I put the uh, I put the uh, pump on direct and uh, I put soap right at the end in here and sure enough it was zero uh, pumping so the pump itself it is too high it cost a lot of money um, I thought about putting the uh, uh, spring conversion however uh, I decided to rebuild the pump myself they sell the kit on uh, eBay you can find it very cheap I, f I found mine I purchased mine for like 40 bucks but you can even uh, find it a lot cheaper and uh, we're gonna take this pump uh, we're gonna rebuild it put it back on and see how it works um, I am NOT a mechanic I only have basic knowledge and uh, why am I telling you this I'm telling you this is because if I can do it obviously you can do it and uh, so I'm gonna start off by uh, the pump is already loose by this bolt but I'm gonna start by taking uh, uh, the other side of the uh, red hose uh, out of there right in here okay. so that way I can take the hose and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna disconnect the, the wiring really easy it's not <sighs> do it with a small pair of pliers and your own bare hands that's it all right disconnected make sure you don't lose anything <sighs> so yeah you're probably gonna have to get this uh, disconnected like this Right. Then, then we're gonna remove that by simply pushing this up and the bottom down. So I got the uh, screwdriver and My like it's I'm gonna push it like this. So once it's disconnected, I'm gonna have to make sure to get this out from the back. All right. So once it's disconnected, the way you take this off is you turn it counterclockwise and it comes off. Now we got everything disconnected and we are ready, we're ready to uh, work on the pump itself, is it? So everything is all disconnected. So let's take it inside and let's start working on this pump. Alright, so I got the pump completely out. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm not a mechanic, I'm doing it on my... Uh, kitchen table and uh, here's the pump uh, 
The next step is to remove this. Right. There's the cover. And this leaves the uh, uh, pump exposed. Got the pump, the relay. Right. So the next step, we're gonna remove these three bolts holding the pump with a 10 millimeter socket. So we use a 10 millimeter socket. And we have to hold the uh, nut over here on, on the other side. So I, I, I'm using these pliers, all right? I had already pre loosened it, that's why I'm doing it fast, just to show you how I did it. So now, I'm gonna take these bolts. Just remember this washer, it goes on top. So this one, washer goes on top. And this one. Now, we can remove the pump. I forgot something. We have to unclip this plastic. That's the one that it holds the uh, uh, hoses and, and everything in place. And the way you do that is by pushing it with a screwdriver like this. See? It just comes out. Once it's time to put it back on, all you have to do is push it back in. So now, we can take the pump out. And this is the pump. Okay. So the next step is to remove these uh, bolts right here. So I forgot to mention that I I like to put all my bolts and everything on a Ziploc bag. So that way you just don't get loose. Even if you're doing inside, it can get lost. So uh, the next step is to remove this three bolts it's like the base if you want to call them you use a 10 millimeter a 10 millimeter uh, socket and let's do it inside the bag inside the bag inside the bag and also and so we also have to remove uh, this bolt on the side of the base it's a 10 millimeter also Take that out. Put 
put it on the back and, and so now I am able to remove this but before but before I want to show you my body my body right here uh, this is my buddy Romeo and he's the one that helps me out all the time I mean he, he bothers me but it's alright so let me continue with this so next we're gonna remove this little hose right here and on some pumps all you have to do is push it push it squeeze it and pull the pump out but on my case um, I have to remove it I don't know if there is uh, some differences in the pumps but yeah, you have to remove it like this and we pull it out just like this so what I'm gonna do next on my pump is I'm gonna remove this temperature sensor I believe that's that's uh, what it's called. I'm gonna have to take this pin out, just push it up just like this, and the bottom too. And if you can see it right there, it came out. So that's the temperature sensor. Put it back there. So once I remove all that, I can put all this aside and I'm going to remove this 10, 10 millimeter, <coughs> this uh, Allen wrench and this bolt right here. Uh, so by using a 10 millimeter wrench, I'm going to get this out. So that we can lift this off the motor, the pump. Take this out. And we're gonna use we're gonna use a uh, number five Allen wrench to remove this. Yeah. There you go. That's a number ten. And, and it's time to remove it's time to remove the pump I have to remove these cables out of here and here is the pump this is a piston see how dirty it is and this is the piston, the gasket, the piston. This is the actual pump. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so we need to make sure there is no damage. In here, have to make sure there is damage. We've got to make sure that it's clean and smooth. The gasket that we're going to be replacing right here, and also check for movement. Check to see if everything is. Okay. 
okay the piston looks in place also we have to make sure that when we put the uh, the new o-ring it goes exactly the same way as this one as you can see as you can see as an opening right here and we gotta make sure it goes exactly the same way exactly the same way and in the same position so I'm gonna show you everything I got on the on the kit I got it today and I got the piston ring right here. The piston ring is made to precision. I got two gaskets for uh, two different types of uh, uh, compressors. I got some bolts with uh, blue uh, lysite already pre-treated cleaner this is to clean the uh, the holes and some tie wraps and an instruction booklet on how to install it all right okay guys so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, cooking oil and a little cover just a little bit just a little bit of cooking oil and uh, what I use that is I always like to lubricate the uh, the new o-ring that uh, keeps them from uh, breaking from breaking and uh, it keeps them fresh and it makes a, 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 a much better seal so I'm removing the uh, the old o-ring obviously I already clean everything inside make sure everything is clean and it's not damaged and it seems like if it's in pretty good condition I think I got lucky on this one All right. so with my finger I'm gonna get some cooking oil and I'm gonna put it all the way around this around before putting the uh, uh, that o-ring in place all right I also gonna get the uh, the new o-ring in the oil so that way it gets wet and fresh that makes the seals last much longer and believe it or not it gives them a much better uh, seal so I'm gonna put it on and it's there All right. with the same oil I'm just gonna clean a little bit inside and then remove the whole thing again All right. so this part is done so now it's time to change the uh, the ring like I mentioned before you have to make sure you put it the same way which is like this you can see it all right and the way to do it is just by hand all you have to do is grab it from, the, from both sides and get them out All right? just like that so I'm gonna make sure I clean this in here and 
I'm gonna put the new one back on just like that And that's it. So I am not gonna put any lubrication in here because uh, this is designed to run dry, evidently. And the only place I put lubrication, it was on the gasket. That's for longevity. Doing better seal. You know. So now it's time to put it back on. There you go. This is the way this thing goes. So I'm gonna grab the new bolt from the kit. I'm going to install it. It has uh, the blue uh, Loctite and I'm going to install it. And I'm gonna put like even pressure first this side a little bit and then the next one. We want to make a, make sure it has a good seal. We cannot over over tighten it because it's plastic. We don't want to break the plastic. Uh, we have to use your own, uh, our own judgment to when it should be tight and when it's too tight. So I guess it's good enough. So I got this back in place. So the rest is pretty much the uh, reverse. Find my screwdriver. I have it somewhere around here. And yeah, place this little pin back in place. Oh, I guess I use this. Oh Lord. Make sure you got the bolt inside the hole. 
and all three holes are lying in there. Use a 10 millimeter. I'm not going to tighten it yet. Tighten it. I'll turn this over. Oops. Yeah, I don't like that. Turn this over. Make sure it fits. All three holes. And for the bolt. And three. Remember, it's a ten millimeter. Gotta find my socket. Somewhere around here. Even though I have light, I'm pretty blind. It's right here. this this one right here that I was missing and now I am ready to Put it on the uh, casket. Okay, I had taken this off, so I'm gonna put it back on. This, the way it goes in, is just put it in and turn it halfway. All right. So now I have to connect the. Uh, this uh, hose, like I say, in some instances, this thing is a push. It has like a push button or a push uh, little thing that it lets you uh, disconnect the hose easy. But this one, this particular compressor, is not. So I have to do it uh, the old way. Oh, so I got it in. I got pretty much everything connected in here. This, uh, yeah, this cable goes in here. I think everybody's broken. This one got loosened. So I'm gonna have to put it back. Back again. Okay. Everything seems to be in place. Connected switches, cables, everything. So I'm gonna have everything out of the way. Oops. 
all the rings, all gasket. This time, I'm gonna bring this in here. All right. So. You know, it's got three uh, prongs, three holes, one, two, and three right here, and that's the way it's going to go. And uh, we have to remember that uh, in here, we got the uh, connection. So this is, so that's the way it's gonna go. That's if you you ask, hey, yeah, but which way it goes? Well, that's the way it goes. When this, I'm gonna try to see if you can see. Put it inside there, and right here. Yeah, and that's it. All right. So. This is final step to complete this. Washer on top. I'm gonna put the knot on the other side. I am not gonna tighten it. I'm just gonna put it there until I put every every bolt in place. Okay. So here goes the next one. Washer on top. Not on this side. Made a little mistake. I'm gonna have to take it out again because the uh, no, never mind. That's what it is. Right there, put there. And the last one. Watch your on top. So, it's time to tighten it. Tighten it. It's easier if you go like this over. Like I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's going to go like this over. Like this. And the last one.
So I got everything, everything done, everything is set up. We have to put the cover on. And let's see. See this uh, notch in here? This is the one that it goes in here. That's it. Ready to install. And to see how we did it. Let's see if it works. And if it works, we just saved a bunch of money. So let's try it. So I'm here to install this in the vehicle. I'm ready. I'm ready to install. So this is pretty much easy. Uh, this is uh, another relay that I had. This is a bolt. I'm missing a couple of bolts in here, but uh, anyway, let me see. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, try to connect everything right here. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here. Now I'm gonna connect the uh, hoses. Uh, see where is it? I'm pretty, pretty sure you can see the hoses right there. But uh, I'm gonna connect the, the blue hose right in here, just like the way it goes. Be careful because this thing is plastic. You don't want to mess with it. I mean, just do it by hand first. Make sure it goes straight. And get the red one too. There it goes. Same thing. Make sure it goes straight. Yeah. You don't have to be super tight. It. And well, we gotta put the, the bolts, but uh, first we're gonna put the to the uh, connection in here. Uh, let's see if you can see. And remember that we can we're gonna twist it, put it back on. This is how it goes. Uh, all of these. Aha. So I made a huge mistake. That has to be on top of the hoses. So I'm not gonna take that, I'm just gonna run it right behind this thing okay all right so I'm pretty much got all the connections done I'm gonna turn on the vehicle and uh, and uh, I'm just gonna cross fingers let's see what happened all right so let's see what happened <laughs> 